As you know, my classic Mini has finally hit the tarmac and I've been racking up the miles, getting a good feel for that limey bastard, but not before addressing some more minor issues. So yes, I've been doing a few little things to try and move the Mini forward. I'm going to do windscreen washer bottle, which will be in a future episode, and I've sort of addressed the suspension a little bit, just trying to quiet it down and stop all that clunking and bumping. But in today's episode of Flip My Ride, we're going to expand my, or broaden our horizons a little bit and broaden our content on the channel. And I want to start to document, I think it'd be fun, I want to start to document the uh, speed and ability of the cars that I own or restore. So we're going to head out with the Limey Bastard. I've got my cousin Jordan coming over. We're going to take it out to a private place and we're going to try and see how fast or slow it is, test its quarter mile, zero to 100 or zero to 60 if you're uh, in miles, and just get an idea of the pace of the car today and see if we can compare it, if I can find the figures, to what it was when it was first released, in this case, almost 50 years ago. Stick around, we're gonna head out, we're gonna flock the ass off the old Mini and see what the results are. Morning, Jordan. Morning. We're gonna do some times on the car and see what she does something a little bit different but look at the comparison here my god camera does not do this justice jordan hey nope. like Never does. you can't understand how big that cadillac is and how small the mini is i think we've got two extremes here really it's all running good With the car chit chat out of the way, it was time to hit the road and get some data. Okay. But first of all, we needed to gather some B-roll footage, so Jordan hopped out and we proceeded to try, I must say try, and get some good footage. All right, here was that, mate. All right, we're going to go somewhere else because being a Sunday, there must be, I think there's a picnic ground up there and uh, everyone's driving by and it makes it difficult. It makes it difficult. All right, we've got a pesky fuel pump. We've found a private road, haven't we? Yes, private road. Little private road here. The app I've downloaded, wherever that is. I've got an app called Drag Racer. So it's this app here. Drag Racer, it looks like this, very basic. But it, it tracks everything for us. I couldn't find any other apps, so we're gonna give it a go. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't, I don't know. Let's give it a shot. People who own this private road don't worry too much about us constantly going up and down. Alright. Let's have a look. Jordan. Jordan. So we did a 0 to 20 in 2.6, a 50 sec 50 kilometers in 4.9, 80 kilometers in 13.1, 0 to 100, 25.7 seconds. <laughs> and we got the quarter mile, which came up first. For the hundred, is that right? We did it in 20.4 seconds. So we did a quarter mile in 20.4 seconds. Now I don't know if I want to risk it and do that again because um, people yeah. might not like us doing that past their house. Uh, on their private, on their road. private road. <laughs> we'll move up here and stop again. At the top of Tom's private road here. Thank you, Tom. 
Tom the farmer. That's his shed there. Private estate. Nice private estate here, Tom. I keep looking at this one, I'm gonna look at this one. Council bins. <laughs> so we've got to beat these times, mate. Oh, so here we go. And we'll gonna, keep, gonna yeah. unload some weight. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> nah, well, I think we'll just do this run and we'll, we'll head back. Okay. Yeah. All right, you ready? Let's go. Foot's flat. It's 26 seconds, but the quarter must come up sooner. That was a slower quarter, 21.8. Oh, right. Anyway, I don't want to push the mini too much because I've got two interested buyers, and I don't want to keep doing this and um, causing myself some grief. So I'll turn this off so I can talk. All right. Oh, how'd it feel? Yeah, fast. <laughs> because we're in a go-kart yeah. mate. Funny numbers there, about the same twice. So about the 20 to 21 seconds for the quarter mile, 100, not to 100 kilometers an hour, 26 seconds. Wow, that's that's slow. I thought it was impressive. You reckon? No. Nah. And it's missing a bit too. It's just starting to cough. So it could either be getting hotter or I've got a bit of shit in the carby. The fuel pump's working overtime. So I'm gonna call it quits there and I'll go home and collate this and um, yeah. Hope, uh, I did do a top speed run earlier. What was it? And I got to. Digga, 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 digga. Digga, digga. I got to 130 on this private road, and I thought I'd pull it up there as well. So I don't have footage of that, but yeah, 130. It probably had a little bit more in it downhill. So I don't know. I think that's fast enough in a car that's the size of a go kart mm. and weighs about 800, not even 800 kilos, I reckon. Let's go home. It's actually Austin, uh, maybe an Austin Healy. As per the norm with classic cars, collectibles, restored vehicles from the past, you get a lot of attention and it is up in bars, let me tell you that. <laughs> you get waves all the time, I bet too. Yeah, and someone at the set, uh, at the bus stop as they go past. Okay. But if I had the money, I wouldn't be selling any of them, you know? Yeah, especially this one. Yeah. Oh, we've got a detail and clear coated soon. Now, because Jordan owns and drives, amongst other things, a basically 17 what? foot. Cadillac, boat on wheels, I thought he needs to have a go. Cool. All right. How'd that feel? Yeah, different. After chewing the fat again a little bit more, over our beloved cars, it was time for Jordan to head off and me to get stuck into the video. thing goes low scraping all out the road <laughs> yes that's a comfy chair it is a comfortable chair the kids don't want it in their bedroom anymore so I thought 
instead of throwing it away, we'll use it for our garage chit chat chair. I like that, chit chat chair, the chit chat chair. So that was pretty fun. And um, Jordan and I had a good old laugh. I don't know if you look at the footage, you'll see him cacking himself as we were pounding it. Flat chat in the little uh, limey bastard go-kart mini. Before I reveal the numbers from the past and compare them to what we did the other day out on the, um, the footage with Jordan, it'd be interesting to get people's uh, feedback on, or thoughts on what, they, what their expectations were. I know mine weren't great, but they were, they were blown away a little bit. I thought it would be a little bit quicker. Forgive me if I'm reading here, I do have some notes because I want to um, impart a little bit of information regarding the Leyland Clubman Mini. They were built between, according to, now this is according to Unique Cars magazine, they were built between 71 and 79, and um, our Lomi Bastard here is this 1974 model. Originally, the top spec was a Leyland Clubman GT. That was disbanded in the early part of production. So they ditched all the, the fancy fare with the GT and developed the Leyland Mini S. Originally, the S came with an 1100cc motor, updated interior, so nicer fabrics, uh, updated instrument cluster or instrumentation, rear drums and front discs. My Mini here, the Limey Bastard, is a 998cc or 1000cc, one litre, 29 kilowatt engine. Why is it different? Again, Mini, due to financial woes and production issues, dropped the 1100 out and put the one litre in. Uh, they kept the interior the same, but they got rid of the front disc brakes and put four wheel drum brakes all the way around. That's infinite wisdom right there. Before I move on to the official figures, there was something I read which may answer my quandary or query around why it took forever to get to 100. When they went from the 1100 motor to the one litre motor, the article says in Unique Cars that the acceleration between 80 to 110 on the Clubman, the Clubman Mini S, took another two, three, four seconds longer than what it did with the 1100. So that could explain why our zero to 100 figure is rather... Um, warped and nonsical. It's hard to believe it takes nearly 26 seconds for that to happen. My official top speed was 130 according to the app that I was using. That reflects pretty much the same number that they had in the 70s. So I think that's, that's pretty good. That's amazing, to be honest. According to Unique Cars, the 0 to 100 time back in the 70s for the 1100 motor was 22.3 seconds and the quarter mile was 22 seconds. What does that tell me? Well, basically, by the time you hit 100, you've done your quarter. Whereas in our case, that was different. Let's have a look at the figures that the Limey Bastard popped out. We did two runs in the Limey Bastard. The second run, the figures were a little worse. And I'm not really going to count them because she'd been doing about two hours worth of stop, start, accelerating and braking and filming. And there was a couple of coughs and spits when we did that second run, which could affect our times, I think she was just getting tired and needed a rest. I'm going to focus on our first run, the figures from the first run. We did a 0 to 100 in a whopping 25.7 seconds. And our quarter mile was 20.4 seconds at 93 kilometres an hour. So let's look at the quarter mile first. We actually did it a little bit quicker and I'm going to say that is because of the a bigger exhaust system, letting it breathe better, extractors, new intake manifold, better flow, and a slightly bigger carby. I have tuned it to the best of my ability. I think it's running pretty good. And that's a pretty clear indication that um, those little things have helped. But I'm, I'm, I'm gobsmacked that basically half a century on, we are pretty much matching the numbers that it did when it was new. That's pretty impressive. Zero to 100, however, is like astonishingly bad if you compare it to the figures for the 1100 back in the 70s. And again, I'll, I'll harp back to the fact that the article states that there was a major drop in that acceleration between 80 and 100, which I did notice, and you will see in the footage when we're pushing on past the quarter mile. 
we crossed the quarter mile at 93 kilometers an hour it at 20 seconds 20.4 seconds so it literally took another five seconds to get to 100 so to gain seven kilometers an hour it took us five seconds and that's while we're at pace so that's that's quite disappointing i thought we would do somewhere in the late teens for the quarter and for the zero to 100. I wasn't expecting 20 plus figures. So there you go. Um, I must say, even though it's slow compared to today's cars, we've got to remember that this technology is basically vintage. It's 50 year old technology. The motors on these, as I was told by Matt Reed from Reed Speed, were basically starter motors for bigger industrial engines. So they're very archaic and very agricultural. The fact that it is still matched the figures from 50 years ago, I think is impressive. Look, if you enjoyed that, let me know you did by commenting down below. Maybe give me some ideas for future things that we can do with either the Mini or other cars. I'd like to again, add some more scope to the content. Find a bike, fix it, flip it, have some fun along the way. Remember, Rushy, get out, have some fun, drive your cars, but don't be dickheads, and we'll see you later. Ciao.